talking to Fagan Walcott, he said Spurs defender. And that's a really good ball forward into the right inside channel. Fall to the edge of the area. Oh, and that's just wide left of Beadle's goal. Well, there was so much space on the edge of the air on that left inside channel for Tottenham. It wasn't picked up at all. Swirling rain, it's now Beadle, turns. He's got Furlong just to his left. Furlong was at full stretch because he was off balance there and he's given it straight to Donnelly. Will Beadle come out on top? Well, he's committed now. Donnelly with the effort, block is from Spong. Danger not over just yet. A fire's in there, oh, it's really scrappy. Clearance off the line, I think, from Spong. Well, Beadle was committed. Donnelly just looking to drive to the left of him. There goes the dive from Beadle. It was Spong with the clearance. And then on the line, I think it's Hinchelwood who denies Tottenham. That heavy rainfall doesn't only affect the camera lens. Was the affecting the satellite or the connection? Oh, and that's Luce Moran almost in there. Drag back. This could be a red card. I expect to see a card of... One colour, and it is. Well, Dorrington, a judge to have denied Moran of a goal-scoring opportunity there. He can't believe it. There's not too many complaints, but Moran is in here. He's got Wilson to his left, and Dorrington realises straight away what he's done. Still, Perpion goes on into the area now, looking for a pass in field, finds turns, recycles possession out to the right flank. A fire. Looking to get the better of Santiago once again. Low ball in. Falls out to Moran. Oh, really important block. Second time of asking. There's another important block in there. And goes behind for the corner. Well, it's gone from all hands to the pump for the Seagulls. To all hands to the pump for Spurs. Two really important blocks there. Return pass from Spong is a good one. Sets away Furlong, arrowing towards the area now. Ball towards the back post, fizzes across everyone. Perpion with the strike and just drives it high over Keeley's goal. Well, they're not sure if there was a deflection on that. If there was, it was only a minor one. Totally unmarked there. May have even been... Well, it was Perpion with the strike. Alfie Devine and uh, Romain Mundell. Straight away called into action defensively. Oh, Jack Hinchelwood just wide. Oh, it was squared across to him really well by Spong. Side footed effort as well from Hinchelwood. The Spurs look to hang on to this clean sheet. They would be thrilled with a clean sheet and a point today. As Perpion picks it up, latches onto that one well, and that's a decent delivery in as well. On the half volley over by Hinchelwood. Well, it was the skipper Spong, actually. Probably knew he had to take it on early. Gets a decent strike on it. Signals again to take the time. And then he can pick out the ball to Miller. Once again, loads of space on this near side. The ball in field does find Sungi. Again, midway through Spurs possession. Spong drops the shoulder. Looking for the ball over to Barrington. And it finds Moran! who opens the scoring for the Seagulls. It's exactly what they've deserved. It's Moran who came closest before with the long range effort. He was the one who was brought down by Alfie Dorrington and he is the one who gives the Seagulls the lead. Well, the build up play was exquisite. That's a really good ball into the six yard box and the simplest of finishes for Andy Moran on his return to the starting 11. He's second of the season, nods Albion into the lead. Furlong, over to Moran, swings it in towards Perpion, it's in! Expert delivery, expert finish from Cam Perpion, doesn't score many with his head, but you'd never know. That is a beautiful headed finish into the top right corner. Goal scorer Moran turns assist provider, Furlong lays it off to Andy Moran exquisite delivery and it's a perfectly weighted header into the top right corner from Cam Perpion. Spong with the switch. First time to Miller into Callum Cissé and it's gone all the way in. 
I think the deflection and the final touch may have come off Jack Hinchelwood. But the players have given that one to Todd Miller just ahead of his birthday. The celebration weekend starts here for him. Turns 20 tomorrow, it starts with Spong. Oh, and well, it didn't go anywhere near Jack Hinchelwood. It's come straight off Cissé. That may go down as a Callum Cissé own goal. Hence the lack of celebration for Todd Miller. Shannon Ruth and Gary Dicker, head of a busy week. They travel to Gillingham. This is Todd Miller with the strike. Oh, just over. Great effort on the half volley. Up against Cissé. Conceded the unfortunate own goal. It comes off his head and bounces nicely up in front of Miller. Just over Josh Keeley's goal. Looking for the first clean sheet of the season. Turns, has a pop this time. Oh, what a goal that would have been. It's a stupendous stop from Josh Keeley. Turns thought, why not? We're 3-0 up. We'll have a go here. Gets the perfect connection on it. Perpion, score of the Albion second. Now Furlong just popping up on this near side for a moment. One there by Barrington and in goes Turns. Oh, he's thundered it home. Shows the desire to get there ahead of the Spurs defender. And then he has absolutely thumped that into the roof of the net. Really good ball clipped in there by Furlong. Barrington was underneath it. Turns gets it the first time. And then the second time makes no mistake. Caps off an excellent week for the new Wales under 21 captain. No chance for Josh Keelan. And Gary Parsons puts Tottenham Hotspur under 21s out of their misery. The misery started for Spurs midway through the first half with Alfie Dorrington being shown the straight red card. Took the Seagulls until just after the hour mark to open the scoring. But then the floodgates did well and truly open. So in torrid conditions, the Seagulls go up to eighth in the PL2. It's finished here. Brighton have Albion four, Tottenham Hotspur nil.